It is not even seven o'clock in the morning on a oh, Saturday. Hello there. And we are up early. No, we're, we're sleeping moving. zombies. Saturday. Up is a very liberal term right now. I uh, our eyes are open. So <laughs> changes. All right. So why are we up so early? Well, the beautiful. legend of the lost bread that lives in the beautiful part about where we live, there's a wide variety of restaurants that we can try out anywhere from Tampa to Orlando and beyond. Um, we caught word of a small bakery in Lakeland that apparently is the stuff legends are made out of. And I've heard the line wraps all the way around the door. Like, around the door. Oh my goodness. Too early. I've like, heard the line wraps around the building. From what and I down understand, the people actually start getting at this place at 4 o'clock in the morning for an 8 o'clock opening. And she's only like open for four and a half hours. She's open from 8 to noon, I think. So yeah, about four hours. And uh, she's only open one day a week. One but... day a week, select menu that she posts on Facebook on Friday. And you have to look at the menu on Friday, decide what you're going to want when you get there Saturday morning. She makes these things called cruffins. So come check them out with us. All right, so everybody that I know has told me this is like the place to eat on a Saturday morning. Worth the line, worth the wait, everything. So where did it begin for you? Was it like a product of heart? Or I had kind of uh, been on this journey in my early adult years to figure out what I was made to do, like what I could contribute to this earth. And I went through a lot of this wasn't for me, uh, the other things that I was doing. But along the way, uh, my husband and I took uh, a trip to Europe for three weeks to backpack, uh, saved a bunch of money on our wedding so that we could take this great honeymoon. And we did just that. Okay. And we were in this standing room only cafe. I fell in love with bread. Long story short, I came home and three days later I was making my first loaf. Uh -huh. It was a really terrible loaf and we're doing something completely different these days. Um, but it, it was the course of several years of being unhappy and feeling like I didn't have purpose. And that plaque was something that had to be filled. And we all have some sort of goal and something that we add to this earth and to each other. And um, I really fell in love with it and found that whenever I started at the farmer's market, it was much more for other people than anything it was for me. And so, yeah, in a very selfishly, unselfish way, it's something great for me and for other people. And my other question, what is your absolute favorite thing on your menu? Um, I, I don't have favorites in life in general, but I'm a very sentimental person. So I love our morning bun. It's the first pastry we ever made. Okay. And the first pastry I ever fell in love with at another baker. So nice. Uh, past that, I think like I go for the under underestimatedly good pastries. So almond would be great. Try one crepe to get it out of the way. Um, but most of our product is made with croissant dough. So it's generally going to have a very different feel depending on how we baked it. If it's crepe or twice baked croissant or the ham and goat cheese and pepper jelly. So I would say a lot of the things are the ones that we started with. Um, those are my favorites and probably for sentiments. Thank you. The sun is up. People look a lot happier. Coffee has happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, it has. So. <laughs> Even for this kid. Oh, Lord, help us all. Um, so we have had, let's see, we spent $22 total. Hello. And we got, what, five cruffins, a breakfast sandwich, two coffees, and a chocolate chip cookie for Grandma. Um and let me tell you, that freaking um, milk and honey cruffin is life. What did you think of your sandwich? Uh, amazing. Um, the breakfast sa sausage was so good. Uh, I was actually glad we did that on the, yeah. that recommendation. I mean, kind of steered away from the cruffins are always amazing, but I thought the sandwich it was like had so much honey the honey was dripping off the top of the biscuit so okay. it was so good and my chocolate and the seeds 
without one. Like, if you just want it, like, not, si like, simple, like, not, like, over the top, like, you just want to breakfast, crop in, and then get out, then, like, I recommend that one, because it's, like, the perfect balance of sweet and salty, so I recommend that. What'd you have? What'd you think? Huh? I had Boston cream. And? It was amazing. Yeah. I had all the crust first, and then I ate the cream. Okay. Was it messy or clean? It was, Very it was tolerable. It was messy, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what you're saying is we don't want to grab born and bread and eat it in the car on the way to something else, right? No. No, because if you do, your car will be covered in all the crumbs in the planet. Yes. On the planet. Something to do with the planet. Um, we I, are, what? I think something very important to note, though, is the fact that, um, it is now 838 and the line is still wrapped around the building. Mm -hmm. uh, but they've got their line system down to a science. Definitely. So once the doors opened up, man, muy rapido, everything was moving very quick. Uh, the service is so efficient, so nice. Um, the During the time that we were there, twice the owner actually came out and was inter interacting with everybody that was there. So I thought that was kind of cool. So even though this place is really kind of ballooned up in popularity, um, it's neat that it still kind of has that down home touch and per you know personalized experience. So I thought it was really cool. Definitely, you don't always get to say this, but I thought it was definitely worth all. It's definitely worth all the hype. Definitely, and it's worth the price. I mean, when you look at a family of four was able to have breakfast and was able to even have leftovers for twenty two dollars. You don't find that much of anywhere. Um, they have savory, they have sweet, they also have bread loaves that you can buy. So if you're not there for pastries, they also do pies. They also do pies for Thanksgiving that you can order. The price point on those is going to be higher. I anticipate that, but um, it's an option as well. So this would be a great stop if you're staying in Orlando, heading over to Tampa for anything, or if you're at Legoland. Or Tampa going to Orlando. Tampa going to Orlando. The point is, it's kind of halfway between Orlando and Tampa. But that's about it, and. On to our next adventure. Let's see what other trouble we get into!